happen. So today we're talking about quantum jumping. And there's a beautiful meditation on this in the back office. Has anybody done quantum jumping the meditation yet? Well, I know you have, Hannah. You've done it, Michelle. Beautiful. Awesome. Ah, it's in the it's in the new ones. It might have been added since you joined. Cool. Just once. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's a really, really cool meditation. And, and here's what it's it's based on is it's based on this idea. Okay, that right now is just one of thousands and thousands and thousands of different universes, different timelines. And so, you know, there's that time that you turned left and not turn right, right? And then when you turn right, you end up running into a person that became a relationship that met another thing that then turned you into starting a business and you ended up here. You, you went for a coffee in one universe for lunch today, another universe you went for a smoothie. And so the, the truth is, is that there's an infinite amount of um, possibilities, right? That we, you know, like sliding doors. Yeah, there's, there's an infinite amount. And so what quantum jumping says is, hey, all those exist now. And there's no reason to believe that they don't exist. I mean, we can't prove that they, don't, they, that, they, that they are there or not. However, what quantum jumping says is we can jump into that timeline and into that way of being. And we can step into what it would be like to have made those choices and be that person. And so here's what's interesting is right now, the past doesn't exist. True. Who's with me? Type in a true. If you know that the past doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as the past. It's not here. That Chris that was speaking a few moments ago, he's not here. That doesn't exist. It exists in every single one of yours mind as a perception, as a memory, and you all perceived it differently. You all perceived it differently in different ways. That doesn't exist. That moment that we all are calling the past, we're all going to see it in multiple different ways. But here's what's interesting is you yourself as an identity, you're really just a bunch of past experiences. True. That's really what you are. You're a memory. At some point, you learned what your name was. At some point, you learned how to speak your language. You got your accent. You lived it. You, you're just a, an accumulation of memories. True. And so really, because you're an accumulation of memories of the past, it doesn't exist. You really just have made yourself up. However, because we know this, it's, it's quite scary to the ego because what the ego has done is it's made itself up. It said, well, I'm this person from this name, from this family. I dress in this way. I do this thing. I have these fears. I have these friends. I have these skills. I have these things going on. What happens is, is because we tie ourselves to these, it gives us a reference point of our identity and, and of who we are. Does that make sense? Everyone just make sure you're staying with me here because I'm going to move fast on this. We're, we're literally just a reference point of memories. Literally, we've had a, we've had a past, right, which is a, which is a series of points in time that we've turned out and we've gone, wow, cool, that was me there. I learned that. I learned this. I learned that. And that's what's created this thing that has your name that's, that's there listening to me. And so this is what's interesting, is if the past doesn't exist, which you all said is true, and if all that you are now is an identity that's made up of, of understandings and thought behaviors and things in the past, isn't it true then that if you've chosen to base yourself off that timeline, couldn't you right now just change? Couldn't you change right now? Like, couldn't you? I mean, if, if you've just based it on something that doesn't exist, does it hurt anybody for you to change your past, to quantumly shift? Would it hurt anyone? The past doesn't exist. All those things happened. They were there. But if you change them in your mind, could it help and harm anyone? But could it be the secret to un be unlocking your potential? True. Because let me ask you, what are things that you would prefer that you had as skills? What were things that you would prefer that you didn't have as things that limit you or stop you? What would you prefer? And what we're going to do today is we're going to choose to, to actually have them, to step into a new version of us, to be in a complete quantum with, with, no, with no strings, literally with nothing holding us back and just going, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be this person. That's it. That's, how, that's who I am. There's no question. That's what I do. That's who I am. And the funny thing is, is what we do when we change, we have to get ourselves so many rules till we become a new person. So here's what's true about all of you. You're one really, really, really good speech away from being a millionaire. 
right? But your brain needs that speech to go put on that talk and sell a product. You need that speech. So then you go, well, now I'm a millionaire. Then you'd act like one because you'd have it in the bank. You see? So you wait for the proof. Does this make sense? You're waiting for the past. But the funny thing is, is we don't have to wait for the past. I mean, how silly is that, right? You know, are you really a millionaire just because you've done the talk? You do the talk, right? Let's just make, make, let's say your name's Chris Duncan. You go to Singapore, you do a talk. I did this talk. I made $330,000 in a day cash, about a million in sales. And at the end of the day, uh, I suddenly felt different. I walked different. All these things happen. Question to you, am I still the same person as I was in the morning? Did I still have all the same potential? Did I have the, I had the, at the, at the time, the same girlfriend, at the time, the same family, at the time, all these things the same, right? Same guy. Same guy, but there was just a set of circumstances um, that changed. Yeah. Well, what happened actually, Jane? Jane says, mindset changed. What actually happened, my rule got ticked. And my rule said that something external had to happen before I could believe it internally. That was the rule. The rule said I couldn't believe I'm a millionaire unless I've got it, I've proven it, right? True. It was just my rule. And then from there, it just, it just expanded. Things went great. And so that's what's really interesting is that you know, you're here in doubt that you have that, that you are that, but you're actually only like one thing away from being something else. Does that make sense? You're only like one meeting away from landing a really big client. You're only one date away from having an amazing relationship. You're already it. Does that make sense? You're just one left turn down a road to finding the, the perfect house of your dreams. You're so, do you see what I'm saying? You're so close. Who's with me? Type in the yes. You're so close right? You're so close. Who knows how close you are? But what we do is we pretend like you're so far away. You're not it. It's way over there. Oh my God, tension. Ah, oh, look, I'm not it. But, but then the thing is, is then just one thing happens, suddenly you're it. And so this is what's really interesting is that we can quantum jump. We can shift who we are. We don't have to hold it back. The only problem that we have is that our belief says that we have to have it that way. What would it be like to truly know, you know, truly know that you had it in you to change who you were, to shift your identity and, and, and become someone you like that? What would that be like to know that? Feel into that for a second. What would it be like to know that you could just change? Liberating, amazing, great. Everyone's writing liberating. Hmm. How would it feel? Type in. I've only heard from a few of you. How would it feel? Empowering, just like that, to know that you could change. So here's my question is what beliefs or belief, grounded and solid, freeing, relieved, love it. What beliefs do you have that says that that's not true? Go on. Let's spill it. Tell me, why do you believe that that's not true? Be real. Be real. You might not believe that that's true, but it'd be a good thing to believe, wouldn't it? Oh, I could change. I don't need to go back and heal all this stuff because that's just a memory. It doesn't exist. I can just let it go. What beliefs do you have? I don't have the skills or resources. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. Hard work is the only way. Thank you. Yeah. What beliefs do you have that you just can't just change? Scared. Yeah, I'm scared of it. Uh, and it's a good thing. I'm scared of it. Like my identity actually likes it. There must be some spe specific magic wand that I don't have yet. There's something else I don't know. I don't have that capability. It's outside of me. People don't sign up for a thousand dollar per month coaching programs. Yeah. Yeah. From you is what you're really trying to say where I get the joke, obviously, you know, that we're, we're online, right? It's, it's just a thought. It's not reality. Yeah, nice. Fear, fear of power. It's not reality. Yeah. Cool. I like these. These are good. These are good. These are good. And so the, the truth is, it's really interesting. I want you to notice that you get some benefits out of not changing. True? Because think about this logically. Over here, change. It's good. You get the past doesn't exist. There's no risk to just change, right? There's no risk. You could just do it. You could just be something new. You could be this way. So there's something over here that says, well, you know, that I don't want to do that. 
So the, what's the big benefit? What's the benefit to you to making change hard? What is the benefit that you have to making change hard? Because what if change didn't have to be hard? What is the benefit to you to making it so hard? Comfort with what I know, right. I won't be judged, so it's a belonging, safety, yeah. There'd be no failure, and I like failure. Is it? I'm not sure if that's what you're saying. I like, I like having failure. There'd be no failure if I did that. Here's what a lot of people say. Um, a lot of people say this. They say, oh, Chris, I would, I would rather struggle and earn the money than just be given it. Make sense? I would rather struggle, work hard, and make the money than just be given it. It's, it's kind of the same thing here, isn't it? You know, my, my belief, I used to have that belief. My, I used to have the belief that I, I would, uh, you know, I would, I would, uh, I would prefer to, to, you know, work hard and it would feel rewarding to do it, to make it and do it myself. And uh, then I realized what I was doing by that is I was blocking all the things that wanted to give me and do it. And, and, and that's the same thing here. Yeah, if it came too easy, I wouldn't appreciate it, which is just a, a made up story, you know, like who says you even have to appreciate? It? Yeah, is it, but isn't it interesting to think about these things, right? You know, like, wow, cool. Yeah, there's, there's such a weird structure we have here. Here's the truth about it is if it was so, it was so easy to change, you would, you would lose your sense of the way things are. Okay, your, the way things are for you is set for you. Does that make sense? Like it helps you to know who you are, what you do, the way the world works. So because you've been sitting in one place, like this is the way it works. I know how struggle is. I know what it's like to have arguments. I know this, I know this, I know this, I know this. So I know how the world works. I can understand it. Does that make sense to you guys? And so that's the big thing that stops people just changing is that they don't want to, they don't want to go into a place where they don't know how it is and go into the complete unknown possibility just of the, that they could just change. Does that make sense, guys? I'm trying to, I'm trying to share some magic today. It's, it's such a big, big thing is that that's just a reference point. That's it. So we, we make it hard to change because truthfully, we're scared of it. We know it's true. We know it's true, but we're scared of it. We're scared that if things could just change like that, then everything we know to be true wouldn't be accurate. You see, one of the things that's, that's shocking it, to me is that it's very, very hard for somebody who's been in, been in their job for, you know, and, very, and really, really convinced, well, let me do it a different way. It's very hard for somebody who's been... Um, been doing things one way their whole life to realize they got it wrong. Does that make sense? And the older we get, the harder it is for us to accept that we might have got it wrong. Why is that? Well, it's because it's more painful to tell the truth that we got it wrong for that many years that it's actually more pleasurable just to deny that it's the truth. True. And that's the big thing underneath it all is for people to actually admit, swallow their pride and go, you know what? I got it wrong for a majority of my life. That's a hard thing. And, and here's the counter to it. Right. So what? It's done. Doesn't exist. It's done. You had your journey. You got to hear. What are you going to do? Keep being wrong. As I always say to people, well, okay, good. Well, you're going to keep being wrong. Right. It, you, I mean, that's just going to stay in that same place. You know, it, it's a, 
But, but if they don't allow themselves to just know, well, you know what, I got it wrong. I held on to myself. I held on to my past. I held on to the way it is. I thought it was struggle. Wow. Let me ask you all the question. What would it be like? Oh, Sam, it happens all the time, mate. It's completely ridiculous. I talk to people all the time who are, you know, successful in especially white collar professions like lawyers and doctors and stuff like that. And uh, they judge they judge my way of life. And I'm like, you know, like you're a smart person. This makes way more sense than sitting in an office your whole life or I make what you make in a month. I make, uh, I, I make what you make in a year and a month, but they don't want to hear that, you know. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? Stan asks good questions. I'm like, hmm. Um, it's interesting to me to think about this and to, and to realize that it's so freeing just to go, you know what, I got it, I got it wrong. Change is easy. So just, just think about this. How freeing is it just go, you know what, I got it wrong. Change is easy. Money is easy. How can you help yourself to believe this? Change is easy. Money is easy. Relationship is easy. What if you could choose to make all these things easy? What if it wasn't as difficult or as hard as you've chosen it to be? Because what we choose, we create. Yeah, it's freeing, isn't it? Who thinks it's free? Go, hey, you know what? I used to think change is hard. I just know change is easy now. You know, I, I understand it. I get it. Logic. I mean, I could be anything I want like that. That's it. That's it. I don't have to buy into my old story. I don't have to buy into my old way of being. I don't have to. I can choose to if I want to. Does this make sense? I can choose to stay right that I got it right and keep it the way that I want it. I can choose to keep my world in the box in the way that I want it so that I know how it is. Or I can choose to go, you know what? Wrong. This is me now. I was wrong. So how good would it feel to know you're just wrong? You're not shy. You got it wrong. How good would it feel to know you got it wrong? You're not bad at sales. You got that wrong. You're great at it. Right? Just You just got stuff wrong. How good is that? I got it wrong. Made a mistake. You know, I'm actually confident. Actually, you know what? I'm good on camera. Look at this. Because you think about it. It's just you making a new choice, a new decision. Right? I got it wrong. I didn't do it right. I did, wasn't right. Because here's the question to ask yourself is, are you willing and able to just say, hey, I got it wrong and, and create a new you? Because I, I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's important to understand this logically is that you are literally nothing. They look deeper and deeper and deeper. And now they're saying that the atoms and the things don't even exist. They just see a cloud. The further that they examine, down and down, they find less and less and less and less and less of anything solid. In fact, there isn't anything solid. We just say 99.999% so that we can kind of hold on to the belief that there's something solid. We're not solid. It's quantum. It's completely quantum. And the, and the technology is proving this to us. Check this out. There is people on this call all over Australia in New Zealand and all the way in Germany, in Europe, in the UK. We've got people in the UK, Germany, Australia, New Zealand. And all of you are hearing me in real time. True? It's faster than light. It's quantum. It, the, the, the old paradigms don't exist. And so it's, uh, it's real. It is fantastic. Zoom, Zoom wigs me out. Zoom to me is crazy. I'll get on a call with my team and we'll all be laughing. They'll be in the Philippines, the UK, uh, Germany, uh, New Zealand, Australia, all over New Zealand, and we'll all be in real time. It's just, it's just bizarre to me. And so the truth is, is that a lot of things that we take for granted now first would have just looked like magic. Do you guys realize how much magic this is to my dog? She sees me talking to my uh, computer all day and it talks back to her. They can't understand it. They can't even see it. Because the thing is, is what some, some things at first seem like magic. If we took this back 50, 60, 70, 80, they would be like, well, how did someone get into inside that thing? What's going on? And so here's what I want you to hear from this is what first seems like magic can just become reality, even beaming someone all the way around the world. Who follows that? 
what can first seem like magic is actually just reality. And so some of you might be thinking, well, this doesn't really seem like reality. Well, it's just time to catch up to the times. So here's my question to you. If you were to make up the perfect version of you right now with no limits, don't you dare put yourself limits on yourself. Take a pen and paper and I want you to just start writing out how you would choose to be or, or write it in the chat box if you like, or write it in a Word document and just go with me on this. How would you choose to be right now if you were living your fullest expressed self, your highest potential, everything you could do? First off, what would be what you would believe? What would you believe about yourself? Write it down. How would you believe? What would you think about yourself? If you were truly fully expressed, and you might even want to close your eyes and go, if I was fully expressed my best self, what would I be? Who would I be? What would I believe? If you are your fully expressed self, living your most expressive out there life, what is it that you'd be doing? What would you be doing with your life? Like, what would you be leading? What would you be starting? What would you be creating? What would you be building? Who would you be supporting? If you are your, in your fully expressed life, what would it look like? What would it feel like? What would it sound like? Go for it. Your fully expressed life, no limits. No limits, nothing, no limits. Yeah, good. You would be the president of the world. Good. Why not? Go for it right out. Your fully expressed life. What would you do? What would you have? Who would you be? What would you believe? What would you believe? What would you believe about money? full potential, totally your true nature, highest purpose, fully expressed. What would you believe about money? What would you believe about other people? Other people are. Nice. What would you believe about the world? The world is. How would it feel? Feels like truth. Good. How would it feel? Good. Nice, grounded and solid, good. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I want you just to put down your pen or to stop typing whatever word you're doing now. And I just want you to close your eyes and I want you to step right into that fully expressed life. Just step right into it, fully expressed, no limits. Remember everything you wrote down and step right into it now. And I want you just to choose. I want you to decide 
This is you. Now. And just breathe into this new you. And in your mind's eye, just really, really, really see this. Feel it. Be it. Step into it now. Breathe into it. And I want you to imagine you float up out of your body. Up out of your body. And you stay in being this person. You float up, 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 out of your body. That's it. And we want to start walking you forward in your life being this self. That's it. Just remember how it feels. I want you to step forward into your future in your mind's eye, one foot after the other, stepping forward into your future. As you step forward, you see, you know, little footprints behind you as you keep stepping forward. You don't really know where you're going, but as you step forward, it's like you're walking forward in the dark where, with a flashlight or a torch. And so as you walk forward into the dark, you're lighting up the world. You're lighting up your future and all the things with this reality show up. Notice that they all show up. All the things in your total perfect express self, express life. Just notice as you step forward, they show up as long as you keep feeling this way now. And it's like you're walking forward, lighting up your future because that's what you're doing. Just stay on that feeling, keep walking forward, lighting up your future. This is your new timeline. And we're going to speed it up. Like when you used to fast forward a VHS, you're gonna fast forward it and you're gonna watch yourself and your legs are gonna move really fast. You're going to move them real fast like an ant as you kind of scuttle forward. As you move really far forward, you start lighting up the whole future. And as you come all the way back to now, I want you to imagine you've got right back down to your body now. Imagine seeing this little tiny person literally scuttle off years into the future, lighting up the whole way. Lighting up the whole way forward, the whole full express potential. And that is it. And just notice how good it feels to know you're this. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's a new you. This is you. And I want you just to think about this for a second and just decide. It's a big decision here. No going back. Is this you? Now. And when it is and when there's no going back, you can open your eyes and know that you're here now. New eyes. Welcome back. I know you're all doing this. Welcome back. Good to have you back. How's that? How are you feeling? You feeling new? Good. Feel this feeling. Notice how this feels different. This different feeling is your new vibrational set point. It's your new you. It's done. You need to stay in this. How are you guys feeling? Type in, let me know. This is you. This is your new vibration. The only reason it feels different, it feels calmer or more relaxed, is because of contrast. You've shifted timeline. Funny combination of new and somehow new this already. Nice and calm and easeful. It's done, Jane. You can do it every day if you like, but you will be doing this every day as you step forward into it. It's done. You're jumped. This is you. The only way that you can choose is you can choose to jump to what it is that you used to have. Why not just stay here? And you just quietly, there's a beautiful meditation to remind you of this jump. Now, just like the first time that you used Skype or the first time that you had to figure out what an app was, do you remember the first time that you uh, had to use the internet? Well, the first time you use this new you, it's going to feel a little bit different.
but things look like magic are actually just reality now. So here's my question. <laughs> what is the first action you need to do on this new timeline? Because I want to ground this in reality. What is one thing you must do to prove to yourself that you're this? What is the one thing? It's different for everybody, but what is the one action that will ground this in reality that will prove to you you're this? What are you going to do? Nice. You're going to go do a video. Finally. How will you anchor it in this reality? What would this version of you be doing right now? Like, think about it. Close your eyes. What is it that I'm going to do now? It's important. We must anchor every new timeline with a new action. Why? Because once you take the action, this timeline is confirmed. Once you take this action in the new vibration on the new timeline, you're doing something different. What does that mean if you're doing something different? It's a new timeline. So what are you going to do different to go on this now? That you weren't going to do before. That you're this now. This is you now. You're in this way now. Write it in. Type it in. You've got to find something to do.